Welcome back everyone. I'm so glad you're joining us today. We always find something spectacular when we explore the big God story, don't we? Well, before we begin, let's ask God to help us understand his word. Father, thank you so much for your word, for these true stories that tell us who you are and who we are. We ask that you bless our time together this morning and change us to be more like you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, now, have you been working on your new memory verse? Yeah? Are you feeling good about it? Well, let's read it together and then we can sing it. Here we go. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3, 13 through 14. You guys did a great job. Now, let's sing that verse and worship. Philippians 3, 13 and 14.
Son and of the Holy Spirit, of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Are you ready? Cause here we go. I'm sure God loved to hear you too. Now let's take a look in the wardrobe of wonder. Hello. Bonjour. Namaste. Shalom. Hola. Konnichiwa. Merhaba. Ciao. Hello. Wow, did you hear that? I wonder where we'll hear hello in today's story. Hey friends, it is so good to see you. We're going to learn about an amazing day in the Big God story. So before Jesus died, rose from the grave, and then went to be with his Father in heaven, he gave his disciples a special job. Who were Jesus' disciples? Good thinking. Jesus' disciples were his special followers. Jesus wanted them to tell the entire world that he died for their sins and rose from the grave. Jesus is alive. It's the best news ever. Because of Jesus, we get to be with God forever and ever in heaven. Before the disciples began their journeys, Jesus told them to wait in the city of Jerusalem. Then Jesus went up to heaven to be with the Father. Friends, why do you think Jesus told the disciples to wait? Jesus told them to wait because he was going to send them the Holy Spirit to help. When the Holy Spirit came, <clears throat> when the Holy Spirit came, he was going to give the disciples strength and power to do everything God had planned for them to do. The disciples were sad because they missed Jesus, but they trusted that Jesus had a plan, so they obeyed his words and stayed in Jerusalem. Every day they prayed and waited for the Holy Spirit. And while they were waiting, the time came for God's people to celebrate a special holiday called the Feast of Pentecost. Every year, God's people celebrated with lots of yummy food and gifts of worship to Him. 
During this holiday, people from or people also gave praise to God for showing them the very best way to live. On the day of Pentecost, God's people from all over the world came to celebrate in Jerusalem. The people looked different from one another and spoke from different languages. Why do you think the people looked and spoke differently? That's right. They were from they were different because they came from all over the world. But even though they were from different areas of the world, they all worshiped the one true God. When it was time to celebrate, God's people came together to worship him at the temple in Jerusalem. On the day of the big feast, the disciples were in a room praying and wondering when Jesus would keep his promise to send the Holy Spirit. Suddenly, a noise that sounded like a great wind came down from heaven. And at that moment, the disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit. They began speaking in all of the different languages of the world. Friends, we found it. The what's it in the big God story. Let's take another look. Hello. Bonjour. Namaste. Shalom. Hola. Konnichiwa. Merhaba. Ciao. Hello. That's the sound of people saying hello in many different languages. How do you think the disciples were able to speak languages they may have never even heard before? Yes, God sent them the Holy Spirit. He came and filled them with His power. What do you think happened when the people in the city heard the loud sound from heaven? That's right, a large crowd of people gathered. They were amazed to hear these men speaking about God in their own language. How can this be, they wondered. How can these men from Galilee know our language? When the Apostle Peter saw the crowd, he stood up and told them about Jesus. He told them that Jesus was God's Son who had been sent to earth to save them. That Jesus died for their sins and rose again on the third day. Peter told the people that Jesus is alive and returned to heaven to be with God the Father. He also told the people that Jesus had sent the Holy Spirit to show them the very best way to live. That's how the disciples were able to speak in different languages, the Holy Spirit. When the crowd heard Peter's words, they knew they weren't living the way God wanted them to live. What should we do? They asked Peter. And Peter said, change your ways and be baptized in Christ Jesus' name. Believe that the Lord, that Jesus is the Lord. And when you do, the gift of the Holy Spirit will be given to you too. And guess what? That day, 3,000 people decided to trust and follow Jesus. 3,000! They too were filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, these new Christians lived and worked together. They took care of each other, sharing meals, praying, and reading God's word. Now, they were part of one big family, God's family. Because of Jesus, we get to know God and be with him forever and ever. He has also given us the Holy Spirit so that we know that God is with us. Through the Holy Spirit, God is with us wherever we go and whatever we do. We can trust in the Holy Spirit to help us follow God's path, to give us the courage to do what God has planned for us to do. The Holy Spirit shows us the very best way to live this life with God. What a story! God is always with us. When we choose to trust and follow Jesus, we become part of God's family. He sends His Holy Spirit to be with us and give us everything we need to live life with Him. Well, you guys, I've had a really terrific time worshiping with you guys today. Our online service is going to take a tiny break, so we won't see you guys for the next couple of weeks. But you can count on us to be right back here again in August. We'll see you then.